Buckle up. Hold on tight. We got it for you. It's a strawberry letter. Subject. Thanks for having a child for my man. Dear Stephen Shirley, let's just get right to it. Here's my dilemma. I'm a 38-year-old woman, and I've never wanted to have children. Five years ago, I was in a great relationship, and we were talking about getting married, but he wanted children, and I did not. So we mutually decided to end our relationship. We could not deny that we were still in love with each other. So two years after we broke up, we reconnected and have been seeing each other off and on since then. While we've been spending time together, he started a relationship with a new woman. And they had a child together, and he couldn't be happier. He has told me that he wants to marry the woman so that his child will have the kind of upbringing he had with both parents present. I truly believe now that he has a son he wanted, he and I can get back together and get married. He tells me every day that he loves me, so why wouldn't he want to marry me instead of her? If I were an evil woman, I could end it all between him and this woman by telling her that I've been with him this entire time they've been together. I have lots of damaging proof that would definitely break them up. Even though I did not want to have children, I can help him raise his son. What do you think I should do? Don't I deserve to be happy too? Well, yeah, everyone deserves to be happy, but not this way, okay? I I just got to tell you that uh, it looks like you're done. I mean... You're just the side piece in this in this relationship. He has moved on from you uh, to the woman he wants to marry. And guess what? That woman is not you. He said he wanted to marry that woman and not you. You, you don't want to have children. He only has one child. How do you know he doesn't want to have more children? You didn't mention that in the letter, did you? You think he's one and Ooh, done. Well, really he, smart, Shirley. Really smart. I didn't see that. Well, Great he, point. He may not. You know, he may want to have another one. And, and, and you, you still don't want children. So this there is no future in in this relationship with him. What you have with him is as good as it's going to get with, again, you being the jump off. That's it. He told you he wanted to marry this new woman. He didn't or hasn't told you that he wanted to marry you lately, has he? So I suggest you ask, you know, don't you deserve to be happy? What do you think you should do? Well, you, you need to get out of this situation because he wants to marry someone else and have you on the side, which is exactly what he's doing. Steve? This woman had a relationship with this guy. She's 30 years old. She never wanted to have children. Five years ago, she was in a great relationship, talking about getting married, but he wanted kids. She didn't. So y'all decided to end the relationship, but you still loved each other. So two years later, after y'all broke up, y'all reconnected and started seeing each other off and on since then. Well, while we've been spending time together, he started a relationship No, see, while we were spending time together, he started a relationship with a new woman. That's not true. That's Mm. not true. See, this is the first big lie in the letter. She thinks that for two years, this dude was sitting somewhere sad and upset that they had broke up Uh, and mm -hmm. wasn't involved with nobody. Mm -hmm. So she writes in the letter, because this is a self-serving woman, Mm -hmm. while we were spending time together, He started a relationship with a new woman. No, he was in a relationship with the new woman. Then y'all started spending time together. Mm -hmm. They had a child together, and he couldn't be happier. (laughs) He told me he wants to marry this woman so this child can have the kind of upbringing he had with both parents present. Now, she believes that since she's got a son, he wanted they ought to be able to get back together and get married. He tells me every day he loves me. Why wouldn't he want to be with me? If I were an evil woman, I could end this whole thing, blah, blah, blah. Even though I do not want to have children, I can help him raise his sons. What do you think I should do? I deserve to be happy, too. You will never be happy destroying someone else's. That's right. You're right. Let's just start there. You'll never be happy (laughs) destroying someone else's. You're the most self-serving person I've heard from in a long time. You, lady... Is uh you are uh 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 what's the word is narcissist? Yeah, uh-huh. is that She's the a word? Narcissist. Uh-huh. You just like the president. Mm. It's all mm. about, about you. you. See, so now you didn't want to have children, but you think since he has a child, you can help him raise his son. You don't even want no damn kids. <laughs> right. So what's gonna make you the great mother all of a sudden? You still don't want kids. 
But now you think you're going to turn into the super mom over the woman who had the baby. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding hmm. me? You're very self-serving. You didn't want children, so you didn't want children, so you broke up. You couldn't say, you know what? We love each other enough. We should share a child. No, it's always about you. I don't want to have no kids, so we break up. Two years later, y'all reconnect. Now, here in a relationship, you can believe that. Ain't no man sitting on the sideline two years trying to get over no damn body. Man. We get over women with women. Hello. Uh, uh, no, you say got to again. say that again man. right there now. We oh, we over. heard him the first time. No, say it again. <laughs> yeah. Go Whatever. ahead. Say it, Steve. <laughs> we say. get over women with women. Yeah. Come Somebody on, man. Somebody sitting up in the house sucking their thumb because you gone. We'll do that for a little while, but we're going to take this thumb sucking and turn it into something. Hello. Mm -hmm. Now, Mm -hmm. he wants the family. (laughs) She said he wants to marry this girl who had the baby because he wants the baby to have the same family he had growing up, both parents present. You don't give a damn about that. Mm -hmm. You want that to split up. Damn the baby. Again, you show exactly why you don't need children. Because you want to take this opportunity for this child to have a family structure that this one man wants to create with this woman because you want to just be, so you won't break that up. So you can help raise a child that you don't even want. Mm -hmm. You don't even want kids. But so you could be happy you want to break it up. Now, you say you could break them up because you got some evidence, pictures, texts, all this here. Yeah, you could do that. You could break them up. But let me ask you a question. You don't think that he'll remember that? You don't think that when y'all sitting around having a couple of arguments, you don't mm-hmm. think that when y'all sitting up trying to make these bills work, you don't think when real life kick in, Ooh. when the honeymoon section is over, you don't think he going to remember the fact that you sent some pictures? Oh yeah, that destroyed what he really wanted to have. Now he over there with you with a baby that you don't want. Come on, you do not want children. He is. You don't even want your own. Mm -hmm. If you don't want your own children, how the hell you Hmm. supposed to want somebody else's? I'm just asking. Thank you. So one more time, (laughs) you are the most self-serving woman, and like Shirley said. Suppose this man want to have another child. Mm. You ain't it again. Mm-mm. You're out. Then you you deserve to be happy too. Well, go find you a man that don't want no kids. It's a bunch of them. <laughs> but, 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 but go back to chapter 2, verse 18. We get over we women. We get Witness. over women with other women. Man. <laughs> We don't, that ain't how, we don't don't go to therapy. No. We don't go up in the mountains to find ourselves. No. (laughs) We get another one of y'all who can do the same thing y'all do, Mm -hmm. make me feel like you do, and we go to getting over it just like that. Man. We ain't got to soak in no tub, drink no wine, get no good book, go on a girl's no trip. Parties, no. Well, we go to <laughs> Vegas and fix this. Hey, don't discount the soaking in the tub <laughs> yeah. and all of that now. That's good stuff right well, there. Totally <laughs> discounted <laughs> for a man. If, you, if your man need to soak in a tub <laughs> to man, find himself, no, we soaking your... with somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Crying in our wine yeah. and all that, yeah. that's so all good. <laughs> my partner, partner how called me. He so wrong. He just broke up with somebody. With candles. Some wine. With candles. <laughs> I don't get your butt no. out of the tub, man. Is that your toes coming out of baby bubble? Hey, what? man, I'm trying to get over something, man. Leave me alone, man. <laughs> Read and act like a lady, think like a man. Get your ass <laughs> out this tub. <laughs> Man, I'm going to do something, man. Leave me alone, man. Well, dog, dog, we're on the way to Vegas. We can help you get over it. All right, guys, we got to get out of here. Email us or Instagram us your thoughts on today's Strawberry Letter at Steve Harvey FM. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. 